Hey guys, Dustin Ellerman here, and today I've got one of my pet projects I've been wanting to do for a while, suppressed lever gun. That's right, so what I did is we took a Henry uh, steel carbine, 357, and um, the Bulwarks over in Am Amarillo did all the gunsmithing for me, but the neat thing about choosing the carbine was that you had plenty of clearance for the magazine tube not to interfere with the suppressor and we could do the threading without it. Also, the front sight was off just enough that we could go ahead, it hung off before, but we milled it down, nothing to that and so that it doesn't interfere there and of course then did, did, all, did all put on there and on and off so yes while ideally you would want a gate loaded lever action so you don't have to fool around with the suppressor three lugs easy enough just pop it off and fill it up and put it back on and so I've had no problems with it I mean I, I shoot it so much and so fast that barrel gets pretty warm and so uh, that's the only problem I've had is just having too much fun with it because when they're so quiet you just can't stop shooting them um, so this gun, it's uh, it's it's holding a nine plus one capacity. If you want to top it off in the chamber, and that's with pulling the magazine uh, the, the rod all the way out, you can drop another one in there. So it's probably spaced for a 357, 350 special, 38 special. You get a little bit more out of it. All right, so. Um, what I have in there right now are wad cutters because we're about 95 yards away. When we shoot wad cutters, you can, with the suppressor, you can actually hear the wad cutters just cutting through the air more than a more, you know, um, a ballistic coefficient bullet would. All right, so. We're just going to shoot into the berm a little bit, maybe shoot a pine tree, and uh, so sometimes you can just hear the whack because the gun is so stinking quiet. All right. I gotta remember to not run the lever so you can hear the bullet flying through the air. Tree. Alright, so now we're gonna go for some steel. All right, good deal. So you can just hear that whistling through the air, and uh, it is just too stinky. Uh, a semi-auto where you have the gases and everything um, running and escaping out of the action, and that's why I wanted a lever gun because you have the sealed breech of like a you know a bolt gun, and where those gases are going to stay in it and be quieter, and then you have of course the speed of however fast you can run a lever gun. So these bullets right here that I'm loading up are just another hand load. They're running around 925, and it's an RMR bullet right there. So uh, they're not wad cutters, so we're not going to hear, because I know when I'm running this lever, it's louder than the report of the rifle. I say, these almost sound a little bit louder than the wad cutters. Good deal. And so I found with this Henry, I mean, I was getting, you know, groups that were touching at 25 yards. I bump it up one step on that ramp, and then I'm pretty good at 100. So it is a lot of fun. I've put hundreds of rounds through it just because it's so quiet and it's so much fun. I mean, it's quieter than any pellet gun I think I've shot. And, uh, you know, you're packing uh, 158 grains at around 925 feet per second. So anyway, you want a fun little project? Hey, go ahead and, and suppress a lever gun. The reason I went with 357 instead of a 45 is just because I already had the reloading equipment for it. So your choices may vary. Also, um, it, I, I thought about this, but I didn't I didn't test it yet, but if you had a centric bore suppressor like the Osprey that hung below the barrel, uh, I didn't have any problems seeing the sights with the standard sights. But what you may could do is just do a half twist and you might get the clearance to pull that magazine tube out. I don't know. There's not much clearance there. So it's going to be close. But anyway, that's a, just a thought. And so y'all just uh, y'all shoot straight, shoot quietly.